Hiya, I'm Shelly, aka Shell, and this is See Shell's Show and Tell. Today, I'm going to show and tell you a few Halloween ideas. This is my favorite time of year, and I'm always excited to see what people are creating, because creating your Halloween decorations or costumes is half of the fun. I went to the Spirit Halloween store with the personal challenge that I would only buy something there if it inspired me to personalize it for myself. And this is what I came up with. This is a unicorn headband. And it's very cute. It's very pretty. But one of my favorite mashups that I've seen lately is a mermacorn, a mermaid unicorn. And so I upgraded the unicorn horns into a mermacorn. I added seashells because what says mermaid more than seashells? And I blinged up the horn. And since this is just a headband, I don't think this has to stay just for Halloween. I see people all the time wearing little cat horn headbands, and I really think that I could wear this any old time. Something else I saw at the Spirit Halloween store were lots and lots of creepy clown decorations. And another mashup that I have seen lately on, uh, seen artists do lately is kind of a funny clown mixed with creepy clowns. And so this is my take on that. I don't know if you remember a TV show a few years back called Children's Hospital, but they were definitely not creepy clowns. This is Rob Hubel, and this is Paul Shear when he guest starred as the brother. And I've got a lot of these little Kelly doll faces. I used to collect Kelly dolls, so I'm thinking I'll make a few more not scary clowns, like maybe Krusty, uh, even Emmett Kelly, maybe Sven Gulli, and then make a few actual creepy clowns. And, you know, it, uh, the terrorizer, and mix them together so there's creepy and not creepy together, because I think that's hilarious. I've also been to a dollar store, and I found this beauty of a headband. Now I'm going to flash it. I'm going to show you how the lights flash. So this is a flash morning, in case that bothers you. Here's the first setting. The second setting... And the third setting is just all on. And I think if I wore this out, especially at night, I would leave it turned all the way on so it won't, the flashing won't bother people. So I know I'm sensitive to flashes. And you can see this eyeball is a little bit different. That's because I tried to do the acetone trick like we do on the dolls to remove the uh, face paint. And the different, different type of plastic and the different type of paint, one or the other or both, made this not a good idea to use the acetone. It kind of made a mess, but I was able to kind of fix it with some permanent markers. So it doesn't look terrible. It just kind of adds to the creepy factor that one of the eyeballs is so different than the other ones. At the same dollar store, I found some really cute, good looking googly eyes. They've got some really good kind of clarity where they really look like eyes. And so I got a couple packages of that, those, knowing I had some colorful wire at home. And I made four different stocks of eyes. And the next step, which I haven't figured out exactly how I'm doing this, so that's why I haven't done it yet, is I will attach the wires to each of the eyes. And since this is wire, I'll be able to customize them and put them, oh, they're so jiggly, <laughs> and move them around to different places. So by the time it's done, there will be a ton of eyes. I think that'll be funny. And last but not least for ideas for today is what you saw at the beginning, this adorable little spider which has the absolute wrong skeleton, which is partly why I think he's so funny. And since I got him for only a dollar, I don't mind the fact that I already broke him. <laughs> but I broke him while I was trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with him. 
And my idea is, I think he's going to be a headband as well. Uh, some ri ribbon and or elastic over here and over here going around the head. And then this can be a little kind of a hat on top of the head. Haven't decided how much extra stuff I want to put with it or maybe just the spider. But of course, I'll probably put some glitter on it, maybe glow in the dark paint. And I got, just got these at the thrift store along with some other craft supplies. So maybe some bright pink eyes for the little spider, hmm, maybe. Well, those are the ideas I wanted to show you today. And I hope it gave you some ideas of things to make. Get out there and craft some Halloween. Happy Halloween.